Often, the easiest way to solve an equation containing parentheses is to first get rid of them using the distributor property. In this example, we have 5 times the quantity x minus 7 equals 12. I'll start by distributing the 5. And we end up with an equation that does not have parentheses anymore. So now I can use my inverse operations. I'll start with the addition property of equality to add 35 to both sides. And then we'll use the division property of equality to solve for x. So x equals 47 over 5. Sometimes we need to combine like terms after using the distributor property. Like in this example, we have negative 2 times the quantity 3x minus 5 minus 3 equals 49. One first step we could take is to use the distributor property, distribute the negative 2. And we notice we end up with two constant terms on the left side of the equal sign. So we'll go ahead and combine like terms here. Now we have a two-step equation. We can use our inverse operations to solve for x. We'll start with the subtraction property of equality and subtract 7 on both sides. And then we'll finish by using the division property of equality. Divide by negative 6 on both sides. and we get x equals negative 7. There are times though when using inverse operations first will save us some work. Like in this example, if we distribute the negative 13, we'll end up with some pretty large numbers. So instead, let's try dividing both sides by negative 13 using the division property of equality. This strategy works pretty well in this example because 26 is divisible by 13. Negative 13 divided by negative 13 equals 1, so those cancel each other out. And we're left with 5x plus 18 equals negative 2. Now we have a two-step equation, and we can solve for x using the subtraction property of equality and the division property of equality. And we get x equals negative 4. And finally, don't panic or do anything illogical when there is no coefficient in front of the parentheses. We understand there is a 1 there. So here we have the equation 5 minus the quantity x plus 18 equals 10. One way to handle this situation is just to put a 1 in front of the parentheses. Now I'm going to rewrite the equation. Instead of 5 minus, I'm going to say 5 plus negative 1 times the quantity x plus 18 equals 10. So what I did there is I added the opposite. So instead of having a subtraction sign there, I changed it to an addition sign and made that 1 a negative 1. So now we can distribute a negative 1. Looking on the left side of the equation, we have two constant terms, so we can combine like terms. Let's see with that negative x, we don't have any like terms for that. 5 minus 18 is negative 13. Now we can use our inverse operations, add 13 to both sides. We don't care what negative x equals, we want to know what x equals. So we can get rid of that negative sign by dividing both sides by negative 1, or just realizing that if negative x equals positive 23, then x must equal negative 23. So when we have an equation with parentheses in it, we often use the distributor property to get rid of those parentheses. Be on the lookout for like terms that you need to combine, and then use your inverse operations to solve for x.